Hey guys, welcome back to Krista and C. Burrell. I'm Krista and I make vegan recipe and lifestyle videos along with DIYs here and there. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing and liking this video. So today we are going to be making celery juice without the juicer. You guys have been asking me how to do this for a while now and I have just been putting it off because like I had this other idea that I was going to do but that will just be next. Um, I wanted to show you guys my progress and how I, um, how this has come to be. I'm still working on getting this little red patch out and a few other blemishes but you know, the celery juice has been seriously helping a lot and I've been doing it for almost a month now. Um, uh, I started in December, so yeah. So if you guys want to see how you can make this celery juice without a juicer because you definitely don't need a juicer to start jumping on the celery juice train, keep watching and yeah, let's start making some celery juice. So to start, you're going to want to take your celery out of the fridge or if you leave it out, take it out from wherever it is and you just want to chop it up into little pieces so you could wash that later and throw that in your blender. So right here I'm just chopping everything up so they're more like bite-sized pieces and can fit in my blender. Then I put it in a cauldron and washed it with warm water and I also used a little bit of soap to get out all that gunk that's on it. Once you're done washing it, then you're just going to want to add it to your blender. I use a magic bullet so I actually have to do three rounds of this. And you just want to stuff it full. Don't add any water or anything because you don't want to dilute it. Just straight celery. And then blend it up. You might need to shake it a little bit to get all get everything flowing and moving around and that's what I do. And then once it's all loosened up, it'll blend perfectly fine. Once it's done blending, you're just going to want to add your cheesecloth, or not your cheesecloth, your nut bag, to a container and pour your um, pureed celery into the nut bag. Once you're done with that, you're just going to want to squeeze out all the celery juice as much as possible. I find it's easy if you actually move around the pulp inside to get it all out. And you normally want to have about 16 ounces and then pour this into your container that you're going to drink out of. And that's it that's all you do and this is slightly refreshing and um, a little salty but weird that it's refreshing and then the pulp I usually just use it to compost and um, add to my flowers and things like that so yeah that's basically it so yeah that is how you make celery juice without a juicer um, it's seriously so easy and squeezing it out manually I feel like it's pretty therapeutic at least for me and I've been doing this for almost a month I started at the beginning of December and it is the 29th today so yeah if you guys want to know more about celery juice and the benefits and things like that I'll put some links down below for you guys you could either go straight to my blog where I'll link some things for you guys or you can go to medicalmedium.com and check that out or you can even just like google it but yeah um, I also want to say thank you guys so much for being here on my journey um, on this channel because I hit my goal before the end of the year and I couldn't have done that without you guys but yeah, I hope you guys all have a great rest of the year. And if I don't see you, Happy New Year. Bye. So now I'm back home and we are going to get some celery juice because I'm going to try the celery juice challenge. Like these inflammation spots all over my freaking face is not happening. I'm not going to have it anymore. So fuck you guys. We're getting out of here.